What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Kayla Lachey, and I'm back with another video before, before we get started. I want to show you guys what we're having today, and I'm just going to jump right into it pretty much, and we're just going to start eating, but I want to show y'all what y'all had, where we're having. I did show y'all a little preview of it beforehand, but I'm going to show y'all. We have some chicken sausage. I believe it's apple chicken sausage, if I'm not mistaken. We have some broccoli here, as y'all can see, because I'm on this, back on this healthy eating. So, um, back on the healthy eating, so we want to make sure that we're staying on track. Back on keto. Uh, we also have some boiled eggs. Let's cut up three boiled eggs. Yeah. And we have some beloved sauce. Ooh. Nice and thick. And I had to cut up some things, out some things for that because of keto. So, I didn't use the, the soda and I didn't use... It was something else, but this is keto friendly. And we also have our drink with my name. See that, Kena? Hey, it's an adult drink, y'all. Woo! Oh my. So, y'all. So before I came to the um before I did the video, so I'm gonna start with a sausage, y'all. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm make sure that I give y'all the first bite. We gotta drench it. Let me get y'all a little bit of onions. We all see that? Give y'all some onions and all. And it's the hot. Y'all see that? I took y'all bite? Okay. And now that I gave y'all the first bite, there's nothing like taking that first real bite. Ooh, look how juicy that sausage really is. I had to throw that in slow mo for you. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I never had these sausages from, um, Trader Joe's. Somebody was telling me about it. I'm going to go ahead and go get some. So I said, let me go ahead and try it. So if you haven't been to Trader Joe's, make sure that you get there. Because these sausages are really, really good. They had so many different varieties, I didn't know what to get. They had another one, like a garlic one. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that one next. As you can see, that sauce is still a little warm. But let me go ahead and blow that thing and run it back for you one more time. Close up, of course. Nice and intimate. Now y'all. I was I was a little hesitant about trying um now skin on it is a little thick. It's like you gotta really chew it, chew it. For the sausage, but it's really good. And I was kind of hesitant about using broccoli because I never tried that. You know, we use cucumbers and all that, never broccoli. So I want to see how this broccoli tastes with this beef love sauce. It looks good. Hopefully, it tastes good. I'm sure it will. Because one thing I can say is almost everything tastes good with this sauce. Mmm. It is good, y'all. If y'all have never have never tried the beloved sauce with the broccoli, try it. It tastes really good with the vegetables. I've tried it on peppers. I've tried it on cucumbers. As far as vegetables, I think that's it. But it tastes really good on all of them. Mm. Now, y'all might be seeing me with this broccoli a little more often. <laughs> I love broccoli anyway, but this just gives it more flavor. Yeah, y'all definitely be seeing me with, with those. And I'll be trying different things with it anyway. Because I'll be wanting a sauce that I can eat. I, I like to dip my stuff in any kind of sauce. I normally try to eat cheese with everything. But 
I know that's not the healthiest. So, oh my, y'all my yolk done pop out the egg. What in the name? Let's see if I can hold on to it this time. See, that's why I don't like to cut it because <laughs> for that very reason, popping out. But I figured it would be easier for me to eat. Because y'all, it's tough to eat this stuff with these braces now. So I ain't never had braces. Listen, let me let me be the first to tell you. It's tough. Mmm. I already know what it tastes like with these eggs. Oh my god. I love this sauce with eggs. With bull eggs. Mmm. Let me try that again. Now, I was just watching the other day, and I saw Beloved talking about, you know, healthy eating and the keto diet. And one thing I can say to piggyback off of her is that this diet is amazing. If you're looking for a diet that's going to give you quick results, this is it. I lost 38 pounds the last time I did this diet and it was it was I only I only gained it back because I had to end up going on steroids but I'm telling you it is amazing by the third week I had already seen results my stomach was down my face was slim like I'm telling y'all so I'm just starting this. This is only week one. I'm just starting it again. But I can almost guarantee y'all by week three, you should be seeing some results from me. No later than four. Cause as of yet, I haven't incorporated any exercise, but I will. I do plan on doing so. Just with this knee, honey, it's hard. Mmm. I said probably was a little juicier than I thought. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? How's your new year going so far? A lot of drama going on on YouTube. Are y'all staying away from that? Like what's one, what's going on with y'all? Me, I just want a positive year, y'all. A prosperous year you know on my live stream those of you who have not joined in my live stream schedule is Monday through Friday at mm, something on my lip y'all Monday through Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time make sure that y'all chime in tune in to your know, blended swap I have my live stream. I have my live streams on Blended Squad for right now. We're already over over 1K on that channel. Actually, over 2K. So if you haven't already, make sure that just you subscribe to that channel. That is my family channel. Uh, eventually, I will be moving the live streams to this channel, Kayla Shea. But <coughs> excuse me. But for right now, they are on that channel. Oh my God, that sausage is is delicious. Really, really good. But yeah, I am moving to the channel. Um, I see a lot of people. Oh, and also, before I get started with that, also, um, video uploads. We have premieres. The premieres are supposed to be Monday through Friday, unless something happens. God forbids. Oh, my hands are filthy. One thing I say about that sauce too is messy. Um, Monday through Friday. We have um, video uploads, video premieres. So the video will premiere on uh, Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you can join us there, and th um, that would be great. So for those of you who don't know what a video premiere is, it's basically um, airing your video live. Where as the video is going on, as you're watching it for the first time, you can actually chat with me while it's going on. So that's what that is. And if you choose to, you know, you can, like I said, you can chat with me, you can super chat, you can do whatever you want. But that's what that's for. 
I'm going to chat with one another too. It's going to be other um, channels in there as well. What in it? Y'all. <clears throat> Whoa, I guess I wanted that too bad. I guess I wanted that drink too bad. Nah, I do got a little wine in this glass. Might not be the keto is. <laughs> but I just need a little cold, refreshing drink. Listen, when you have a long week, you need something to take the edge off. And for me, a little wine does it. Now, if you don't know, on keto, you can't have alcohol. Preferably like a vodka. Because you don't have any carbs. But, I have wine. Technically, you don't need to have wine. Because with keto, you're only supposed to have like um, 20 total carbs per day. That is net carbs. But, if you exercise, you know, things of that nature, it, it actually allows you more carbs, so. Now, I ain't gonna, now, I'm not saying go out there and run it up with the carbs. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that you are allotted some more carbs if you do work out. Now, actually, it can go two ways. You can work out and not do the extra carbs. You can work out and then lose weight faster, lose inches faster. Or, you can just, um, if you really want some wine or something extra, you can eat. I mean, you can um, exercise, gain more carbs, a lot of carbs. That way, you'll still be in ketosis the next day. I mean, I guess that works for everybody the same way. Because it's always been like that for me. I've always been able to do that. So, I'm going to say, hopefully we're on the same page, you know. And one thing, another thing I can tell you about keto you get full super fast. It's like you don't even hardly be hungry. I've only eaten two eggs, two sausages, and most of my broccoli. And I'm getting full. So that's a good and a bad thing. It's a bad thing when you got a bunch of food piled in front of you. That you technically should be eating. And it's a good thing because... If you're not eating as much, you're losing more weight, you know? And your stomach can shrink. So I'm looking forward to my weight loss. Because it will happen. I'm going to make sure of it. I'm just trying to motivate everybody else. I don't know if I'm going to do any workout videos. But if I do... I hope and pray that it motivates y'all to get up, you know, get the move in. In 2020, we do these mook bones, but I want us to also remain healthy. Even if you don't lose weight or you don't have a desire to lose weight, at least you can maintain the size that you are and not gain a bunch of weight because I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. I saw it within myself only a couple months of doing mook bones that I started gaining weight. So, me personally, I didn't like it. So, I decided to do something about it. So, I'm challenging each and every one of you to do the same. You know, find something that you can do. I'm not telling you don't continue eating the way you're eating. You can do whatever you want to do. It is better to eat healthier, but I'm not here. Listen, I ain't here to judge anyone. What I will say is if you can add and incorporate some kind of exercise, now, y'all, look at me thinking I'm doing something by adding all this sauce on this broccoli. Watch this. What in the... What in the world? Ain't that much juices in the world. <laughs> Just nasty. In a good way. <laughs> Talk about messing. If you can incorporate... This broccoli is juicy. Lord. If you're going to incorporate some kind of exercise, that will be great and it will help you. If you can't, maybe for health reasons or whatever, 
um, whatever it is you can do, whether sitting on a step, like marching your knees, sitting on that chair, on the couch, while you're on the couch, marching your knees, in between commercials, doing a squat, while you're using the bathroom, do a couple of squats, like whatever you can do. Whatever you can do that'll help you, where you can get some type of um, activity in, exercise, that would be great. Because that weight will sneak up on you. Let me tell you. It will surely sneak up on you. Because I woke up like one morning like, what in the, who is this? I mean, face, I got all full. When I came on, <laughs> when I came on the YouTube scene, I was slim. And my face was too. Sister girl done gained some weight. But it's all good, because I'm going to get it back down. The best thing is recognizing that you have a problem. No. Now that I know, you know, this eating is an issue. Well, eating too much of it anyway. Too much of the wrong stuff is an issue. I'll fix it. I still can eat my seafood and all that. I just have to cut back on my carbs. The rice and the pasta and all that. And that's fine. And the potato. If, that's, if it's going to mean that I'm going to get my body back, gladly, I'll do it. Ooh. My last sausage, y'all. I got a piece of broccoli. Mm. Lonely little broccoli. But yeah, so that's pretty much the video for today. I knew it would be a long one. I just know I had to put some content out there. Because I don't want y'all forgetting about me. And I've been eating. And ain't been recording. Let me get my paper towel. These hands look disgusting. Yeah, because I've been eating. And I haven't been recording because I've been pretty much eating on the go. Which I could have done a, a car mukbang or something like that. But y'all, 2020 is all about consistency for me. Consistency is key, guys. Listen, if you're a new per person, new, just start your channel. Consistency. Consistency is key. You want to remain consistent um, on your channel. Keep uploading. And if you think it's not the best, well, you want it to try to be your best as best as possible. But some, a lot of things which we don't like because we will critique the hell out of ourselves. What we don't like, someone else probably does. So, that's the end of the video, y'all. That's it. I'm full. I'm not eating that last sausage. So, what I want to say is continue loving on yourselves and everyone else. But love yourself even more. Because y'all already know that self-love is the what? The best love. And until next time, guys, be blessed and have a happy 2020. See you next video.